The new mock draft is out, and Chet Holmgren out of Gonzaga would be the first pick, followed by Paolo Bancaro and Jabari Smith. Okay, so I don't want to scare anyone, but we're 87 days from the NBA draft, and some may say that that's too early to talk to Mike Schmitz, but I am not one of those people. So let's bring him in live from Melbourne, Australia. Is that right, Mike? Are you in Australia? And if so, why isn't NBA Today with you? Well, that's a question for the higher-ups. I would love to have Done. you guys out here get down <laughs> under, eat some kangaroo with me. It's not, as, it's not as good as I expected, but it's been a lot of fun. I, I'm sorry, I'm still processing eating kangaroo. All right, before we dive into the nitty gritty here, tell us about your travels, maybe save for the kangaroo meat. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. But yeah, I traveled <laughs> all the way out from LA to Melbourne. I went from Melbourne to Cairns, which is where the Great Barrier Reef is located. I, wow. I didn't make it out there to the Great Barrier Reef. Went from Cairns, then all the way to Western Australia to Perth to see a prospect out there. Then I took the nice, lovely red eye back to Melbourne with a stop in Brisbane at around 5 a.m. and got in and watched uh, another prospect out here in Melbourne. And then okay. I'm finally headed home today. So I've been gallivanting wow. this beautiful country with tremendous people to see some pretty interesting NBA prospects. Well, and you said it. Australia has produced numerous NBA stars, Andrew Bogut, Patty Mills, and then most recently Josh Giddy. So who's next? Dyson Daniels. Remember the name Dyson Daniels. He's going to be a top 10 pick in this upcoming draft. I actually just broke down film with him yesterday at this hotel out in Melbourne. He's training here after spending the last season with the G League Ignite. But let's break down his game because he is incredibly impressive on both ends of the floor. I think he's one of the most complete prospects. So it starts defensively. Give me that at the rim, okay? He's 6'8 in shoes with a 6'11 wingspan, defends multiple positions, can play really one through four, and then the IQ, the vision, these quick hit aheads. He plays that unselfish style and then can really see over the top in the half court offensively. He is a big guard, okay? Here you can see the vision, the accuracy, the touch. He actually played... Aussie rules football for six years. So he's got these kind of funky instincts like we've seen from Josh Giddy. He developed at the NBA Academy out here before going to the G League Ignite. And I'm just really impressed with his versatility and ability to impact the game on both ends of the floor. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.